the biggest game of all time, potentially, Legend of Zelda has released. It's making big headlines, big numbers. Breath and, or uh, the Tears of the Kingdom, to be Tears exact. Tears of the Kingdom. Yeah, Tears of the Kingdom, the sequel, not Breath of the Wild. And uh, there's interviews with um, the producers and the director uh, talking about a potential film that can be in the works. Let's chat about the game and chat about what we think. Some details here, a little quote, a little question here. What we got, Vince? Yeah, so series producer uh, E.G. Anuma is interested in seeking seeing a Zelda movie happen. Uh, quote, for sure. But it's not just me being interested in something that makes things happen, unfortunately. Polygon, this is from Polygon, uh, sat down with longtime Zelda producer and game director uh, Hitamaro uh, Fibayashi to discuss the big swings that they took uh, in the massive sequel of the game. But there was another question asked during this interview. Uh, this is coming right off the heels of another very successful Nintendo property that just got a movie. <laughs> what, what did he say, Ryder? What did he say? Um, so they asked him, just to ask you another question, uh, does the recent success of the Mario film have you excited for the prospect of a Zelda adaptation? Now, uh, uh, Awanuma, which is the, the producer, says, I have to say I am interested, for sure, but it's not just me being interested in something that makes things happen, unfortunately. And then Fuju, what's it, how do you pronounce his name? Fujibayashi. Fuji, Fujibayashi says, maybe the voice of the fans is what's important here. So, I let mean, me there tell you, you have it. Let me tell you. Let <laughs> yeah. me put some numbers you out got there for you right now. <laughs> the Mario movie is has already crossed a billion dollars, right? Crossed a billion mm -hmm. dollars. Huge milestone. Not a lot of films ever cross that threshold, right? Uh, if we're talking games, games are crossing that threshold a lot more than movies because they're more expensive The ticket you know, to entry True. tears, of the kingdom first day sold 30 million copies. Right. So, which is like something around $2 billion ish. Right. So <laughs> we're talking a lot of money from the games. Also Zelda is a property that is not as big as Mario. I think Mario is probably one of the mm -hmm. biggest properties and it's very easily the recognizable. History, right? yeah. Zelda is mm -hmm. probably less on that scale, but if they were to do, if Nintendo was to produce a Zelda movie, I would expect it to do, almost as good as the mario movie it would do extremely well mm -hmm. i don't know if illumination like huh? this company the studio is like the right choice for that i guess mm -hmm. i i kind of hope they would do it with a different studio with a different take on animation style and stuff um to make it look visually different than mario uh but it could be really cool you know, and then we're getting absolutely. I mean, I'll tell you the dream. It's this little cinematic universe of you got the Zelda, you got the Mario, and then you know, Smash Bros. will be the end goal. Exactly, bro. I was just about to say. I think that's a great idea. I think there's definitely conversations happening in the studio because like, be. look, Mario did so well. Let's do the Donkey Kong, right? Let's keep it contained. Let's do something like that. Sure. And then you can get wild with like Sonic, and and somehow I don't know. If that's maybe right. But then, but yeah, I think the the next conversation would be. Look, we got. Link, we got Zelda, we got these guys. But Sonic's I mean, a licensed games. property. We got it. I think. Yeah. That, so it's cool. like we got to get Nintendo owned. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. crazy. But definitely, like like you said, I think this is going more mainstream. You know, because like you said, I I yeah. I think it is one billion dollars. I think it already and, is mainstream. Like it's mm -hmm. been, even because I've been yeah I've been hearing everywhere more 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 people talking about it different ages. I mean, yeah, the Everyone's games are super successful, yeah. but I just think. Like Nintendo has created these characters that have stayed relevant and alive for years, mm -hmm. so long since their inception. You know, we don't really see that even yeah. on other games or anything. It's usually okay. You got a couple sequels or whatever. It has like a five, six year popularity stint and it kind of mm -hmm. dies. Uh, Zelda and Mario at the top of their game every year. Every year they are front yeah. and center for these people, and mm -hmm. they're in front of people's eyes. I think a Zelda movie would be a massive, massive hit. Absolutely. I might here with you. Ladies and gents, let us know. Are you playing the game? Would you want to film of this? Because Mario yeah. seems to do well. I think I think we'll show up for this film. I what's the story? There. I, I think here's what's going to happen in the story, Zelda right? movie. I'll mm -hmm. tell you right now. Mm -hmm. Zelda gets taken by Ganondorf once again. Okay, okay. that's the opening scene. And mm -hmm. the rest of the movie, believe it or not, Link has to find Zelda just like every just follow, single yeah. Zelda game just, ever. Okay? Just follow the formula. Ever. Yeah. <laughs> it will go incredibly well. So... If you want to know more about the Zelda movie and other movie news, you can check out our podcast, Strictly Casual Freeze Frame. It's a little yellow box. You can type that on all the audio platforms, and uh, you can go there. This is episode 111, where we also talk about Superman casting and Disney Plus content loss and all that good stuff. So thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you on the next one. Peace out.